guys, welcome to Lisa Art. I'm back from vacation. The reason I haven't done a real video yet is because the minute I've been back, I've been preparing for PoraCon. I've had to choose my colors. I've had to figure out exactly what I'm doing so we can start preparing. So I'm showing you these kind of like little clips of what I've been doing and working on to get the best color combos, the best techniques and everything for my spin swipe class and my loaded palette knife class. So what I've been doing um, is like testing out all these different palette knives and just doing all these things. Anyways, so I made something that didn't like make the cut, but I thought it was like a cool video and it is going to be a little voiceover because I was just kind of like playing around. Um, so I made a really cool like tidal wave by accident, but I thought you guys might want to see it. Just a quickie little video. I have some paints mixed up. Like I, I filmed the intro to like a video that I thought I would do. I have not even done it yet. By the way, my next real video is gonna be Neons, inspired from Jamaica, I'm really excited. But anyways, I love you. Also, um, Mo has read all of the comments about his favorite TLP, by the way, it is grunge for you winners. So when we have a minute, I'm putting everybody's name in a hat. We're gonna grab a few and that will be that. Okay, love you guys. Let me know what you think of this title wave swipe situation. Bye. Okay, so by the way, I'm not doing music in this video. Last time I had to do a voiceover, you guys said you didn't even want to hear any music, just my voice. So here you go. Tricorn Black Pillow is on the board. On my number two palette knife, I put my cell activator. I put Prussian Blue, uh, Amsterdam Blue Violet, TLP Unicorn, TLP or so I did a little swirly whirly swipe and I didn't really love all the cells remember I'm practicing like I'm going to teach people who don't know how to do it right so it wasn't perfect and I want to make it as easy as possible for people so I said what happens if I just do a straight swipe definitely better cells are coming out nicer um and then I said to myself, these colors are amazing. Let's see if I can fix whatever I made right now. It looks a little rude, <laughs> LOL. Um, so as you know, I take my little skewer, do my little thing, um, spin it, see what happens, do more swirlies, you know. Uh, and that's it. What it turned out actually was really cool, um, I think. I mean, you'll see in a minute. I guess you guys will just have to wait as I spin very slow. Oh, there was like some sort of, there was something in my paint and I couldn't find it. It was kind of bumpy. That's why I kept kind of attacking it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for that little bloop in there. Anyways, what do you think of A, these colors? B, do you agree with me that the first swipe was a little not perfect enough for people who want to learn how to do it um and yeah i hope you enjoyed this fun little video i'm gonna hopefully be back uh hopefully this weekend i can um make that video for you guys because it's been in my head for weeks and weeks and i really want to get to it i really uh like you guys and let me know what you think of this quick little thing as I keep trying to get like bloops out of my paint. It turns out nice. I think that's the whole point. Okay. Let me know. Thumbs up if you like it. And even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up because it, it helps me make more videos anyways. Um, I love you guys and, uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, I forgot. Look at what that TLP unicorn does. So it's like a deep blue to um, like a deep purple over dark. But then it's like there's some pinks. It's really fun. That's just under my um, cool light. And I was having fun with it. And then I'll show you the final piece. Look, at those are the neons that I mixed up. Um, and then I'll show under my warm light for you. Okay, bye-bye.